how is this for a glass off? Crystal clear water, not a breath of wind. And this is winter. Sanders, check. Tackle, check. Fishing rods, life jacket, check. Bungs, check. Stand up paddle board. Hmm. We're good to go. How you doing, bud? Oh, you're on Facebook, mate. Oh, do you? Yeah, my name's Bruce. Bruce? John. No, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah. Nice. I might end up shooting from here down to Ards, have a bit of a fish down there, chase some salmon, then come back up and see what happens in the afternoon. You see that sometimes at the town jetty as well, mm -hmm. years ago, you know? Like, mm. you stay on town jetty and you just watch a big string of them come in and move in and yeah, yeah, yeah. fall up in front there like that. That's right. Like, yeah, one after yeah. another. That's it. Hundreds of, like you said, literally two or three hundred of them. Yeah, you know? that's right. It was spectacular to watch. What's the time now? Like nine o'clock or something? Yeah, <laughs> quarter to eight. Quarter, quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, just a little shovel be nice. Lovely, winning. Thanks, mate. Have a good day, boys. Just spotted a school of Mulloway. Cruising, see them just in here. Sitting around that snag and in that dark area there. Maybe six or seven Mulloway. Cruising across here. Right, we need to find some salmon. Pronto before those, those Mulloway cruise out. It's always the case, when you find Mulloway, you can't find the bait. Always the way. Yeah, salmon, salmon, salmon. Just chucking around a little 375 street by Z-Man. Generally a good searching, searching soft plastic. Been proving a little bit tricky. Get some live bait. Just gonna troll up this river mouth. Maybe find salmon or something. Yeah, it's very, very quiet in the live bait department. Pitch them to a few Mulloway and uh, see if we can get a bite. Failing that, we have to go find something else to do. All right, double clutch. Double clutch time. So this is the state of the local fishery. Been to four spots, including this river. I can't even find a salmon trout. Been trolling for about an hour at different spots casting. Uh, I've done diving lures, I've done soft plastics. Barren, absolutely barren. And I normally see this 
after it's been netted recently and you come here and you can't even find a toadfish because they've been all netted. Um, I think this is potentially one of these days so I will push a little bit longer try and all I need is like two salmon trout. If I get two salmon trout I can catch them. You know there'll be salmon trout everywhere. I'll scan up and down the coast I can't find any in my life. Yeah, I find them can't find the bait. It's just the way it goes. But anyway that's fishing hey. Wow big school of salmon. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Wow crystal clear in here. Might have to scout around so we can find a few whiting. Have a little bit of a look up here. Never know what you can find in these little creeks. We found a fish. I reckon it's a little salmon. Don't jump, buddy. Don't jump. I don't want to lose you. Oh yeah, perfect little salmon. Don't normally need the net for these guys, but it's so hard to find, I don't want to lose it. Perfect. Put you in there for a second. Got another one. Yes. Come on, buddy. Whoop. Ah, come back. One more, one more while we're here. Yep, we're on. Just drive over them. Pretty decent school, about 100 fish maybe. And now we got three, so that's cool. That is cool. No more messing around with salmon trout. Got enough now. Head back out to sea, go find that school, hopefully it's still there. By the time I got there, there we gone. Scanned around, couldn't find them again. And that's the thing, they can cruise up and down the coast, so when you find them it doesn't mean they're necessarily still gonna be there. You just gotta hope they are, but yeah, couldn't find bait in time. Our guys. So now we're trying the flooded, do some squid later, do some more salmon elsewhere, maybe go hit the jetty. We'll see. There's the local netter. That'd be why this coastline's not as productive as it used to be. It keeps getting drag netted in these shallow areas, pulling up all, you know, hundreds of kilos of whiting and flatted and everything else. It's no wonder it's quiet. So I just stopped randomly at a spot about four and a half meters, did one cast, I've hooked a squid already. He's got a mate with him. Let's go have a look. All right, squid game challenge. Let's get into it. You gonna do it? Nope. Let's go get his mate. Won't be far off. But yeah, literally just hooking up the coast. Got to a spot, what are we, 4.6 meters. Looked nice and weedy. Thought I'd chuck one cast out. Yeah, what do you know? Squid straight away, so we might try pluck a few. As soon as everything else has been pretty quiet, a couple of squid won't go amiss. Let's try to find another one. Oh, squid on. There's a few squid around here. All right. Now winter's normally the time to get the, uh, the big squid. However, hey buddy, how you doing? Check out this fella, he's tiny. Oh, you're so cute. Mm. I don't think he's quite edible size. I mean, he is, he is, hey, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, a couple more squid, I reckon I'm gonna go do some stand up paddle boarding up a creek. 
see if we can find some winter whiting. So you know you're stuffed up when the guy at the shop says, mate, you need the triple action pump, and you say, nah, single action will be fine for half the price. She's got the triple action. Ooh. Yeah, this takes a while. Warm now. Still don't know whether it's a good idea to go paddling in winter though. Considering I've never been on a stand-up paddleboard before. All right, stand-up paddleboards prepped and ready. I'll go put a Nesky on that, take a rod with me, a couple of little whiting lures. I'm going to shoot across this beach over here, the little creek, and paddle up that creek and hopefully get a couple of whiting. Let's get rigged up. Whew. Right. Rigged and ready. <coughs> so don't judge me, this is the first time that I've been stand up paddle boarding. If I go ice up then yeah, have a giggle. Let's see if I can stand up paddle. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah it's not too bad. See you later boat. Well this was actually quite a bit of effort so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, it pays off. It probably took me a good half an hour to blow it up on the boat and the tide is dropping so I don't really have that much time. Man how do you get these things to track in a straight line? Oh this is cool. It's pretty stable too, this is the one from Kings. Oh, no, this is so stealthy. So I've just got one rod with me and my whiting tackle, and that's it. Oh, I hope my boat doesn't get stuck later. It's only dropping another 20 centimeters though, so I'm in about 50 at the moment. I can float it in about 20, 25, so worst case, I can push it out. Otherwise, I'll be here till after dark, which won't be fun. Alright, might as well walk. It only really looks like ankle deep, but it's actually like shin deep with mud. I suppose I can go for a walk. Chuck a lure on, one lure, and then go for a walk with just a chesty. I thought, yeah, just drag it up on the beach. No worries. Yeah, I'll think about that again next time. Whew. I'd like to say it's getting firmer. But it's not yet. That was a mission. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I wonder if there's any water left in here. Looks like it. I don't know whether it drains or it gets landlocked. But we'll see. Moment of truth. Oof. Yeah, she shallows out. She really shallows out. I wouldn't have been stand up boarding this anyway. It does still hold water though. It still holds fish. I came up here once in the boat at high tide and saw a heap of whiting and thought, yeah, that'd be good for flathead. I just assumed this would have held more water. Well, that doesn't look like it holds any water at low tide. So, yeah, look, unfortunately, I was hoping this was going to be quite an adventure. I thought this got landlocked at low tide and I could get up here and it'd be heaps of water and the fish would stay in at low tide, but unfortunately, no. Now I know, I've satisfied my curiosity. Oh, bit of an effort though. Paddleboarding was fun. First time doing that. Well, that was a failed attempt and a hard walk. Anyway, had to get out of my system. Had to give it a go. Oh, well, we'll try it again another time. All right, back to the boat. Just so peaceful out here. How good is this place? So good. Oh, she's getting shallow. I'm gonna get out of here soon. Well, I didn't get stuck, thankfully. I mean, she's, yeah. Pretty shallow, pup putt out of here. But we'll get there. Once I get out a bit deeper, then I can sort all this out, pack up the deck and go home. Anyway, cheers for watching. We'll see you on the next one.